Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families. Please stay in the purest of white light. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do whatever your soul is guiding you to do. Let's go ahead and get into this content. As always, I'm struggling with my cards. I don't know what it is, but honey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's see what in the name of source is going on here. I am actually going to be doing a read for myself today because I have a group of people that think that I have time to play with them since they're grown-ups and don't have anything else to do with their time. We are going to fix this situation today. So you two, you not two, you all can leave me the heck alone. I don't fool with you. Don't fool with me. I think you all are stuck in some type of paradigm where I am unsure of myself and will not stand up for myself. But I think you all have found out that that is not what it's supposed to be. Anyways, I am expecting compensation for my loss. Okay? You all have been working behind the scene to block my forward movement. You interfere with my work. You've called my boss to get me fired from work. You've called my landlord, bribing people behind the scenes to come and harass me, getting in my car, banging on my door, trying to get into my apartment while my kids are here. You thought I did not know, but I absolutely knew. Shall we take this story back to the beginning when you all were taking bribes behind the scenes to bully one person at work. And please, I am dying for someone to say that they know so I can name each and every one of you that's involved. Shall I give some initials? DS, corporate, you knew, you participated. JW, you go from uh, facility to facility. As an administrator, you knew you participated. JH, I worked with you. You were my administrator. You participated. JB, you shared an office with me. You participated. TB, you worked at South. You participated. Should I keep going on? Some of you took bribery behind the scenes to harass and bully someone because a narcissist a narcissist with insecurities does not know how to let go. You had a mission to destroy me, but because you couldn't destroy me, you tried to finish me. You tried to take the light away from me and out of me, but I am all light. You will never destroy me. You think I don't know what you've been doing. I've known the whole time. Leave me alone. You literally bribed my landlord to come and harass me. She's recorded. I recorded the conversation. You best believe my lawyer has it. You all have been, not all, you specifically, you've been breaking into my phone, having your friends spy on me. I know. You're a narcissist. You are not sorry for anything you've done. You are more concerned with your, your uh, reputation because that's all that matters to you. Pretending with people. In public, you are one way, but behind closed doors, you are a demon. Did you try to get a demon attached to me in uh, 2023? I'm for certain you did. I don't know what your obsession is with me, but leave me alone. You are an occultist. All of these people accept their bribery from you. You made them false promises that if they did this, they were going to get that. Some of them got money. There's a masculine that you pay $2,000 to not be courteous with me. I think you know who I'm talking about. 
And please, I don't, this, I'm not going to say I don't know this woman that you all think I have a soft spot for at work that she can come and approach me. She's the easiest one to, for me to talk to. I'm going to let my wall down for her. Absolutely not because she stood by and watched everything happen. She was aware. But because you told her that she was going to benefit from what was going on, if I lost or whatever, she was going to be benefiting from that because she would be getting some type of financial payout, some type of promise. So she stood by and she let it happen. She stood by. You all bullied me so much. You saw my health declining mentally and you got a thrill out of it. Now you want to come in and pay me some money so I can sail onto calmer waters. Is that supposed to compensate for my loss or something? You owe me. So I guess we're starting off on the right track. How dare you? Trying to pay me to move on to karma waters. Because of all the blockages you did, you put in place, interfering with my platform, interfering with my calls, text messages, blocking me out of my accounts. There's a masculine that's supposed to come in and cause some type of illusion so I could get stuck in some type of karmic cycle with him. It's not happening. I don't give two Fs if I love right now. You want to come pay me to seal on the karma waters to keep pushing forward? I was already pushing forward. You should have just left me alone. You should have just left me alone. I never did anything to you. You told people that I was difficult to work with. I was not. You lied. You lied. Every time I made a complaint, you told people that I was difficult to work with because of the simple fact that I was bringing attention to your maliciousness, your cold, your cunning, your calculating, your narcissist. You have so much ego, it's too big for this earth to contain. I looked defenseless, I looked feeble, weak. You went out of your way to connect with my familiars, bribe them, and they all accepted the bribery. And you thought I didn't know. You thought because I didn't have physical proof at the time, you were invincible. You have a lot of money, so you felt invincible, but you have karma. You felt invincible. You don't give a crap about people. Collaboration. You don't care about people. You are void of human emotions. You're shallow. You need to go get healing. But when you, the healing you need, honey, I said you need healing. You need healing, sir. You had people committed committed to taking someone down that did nothing to them. Miss Madame that was in my office made it her mission to lie, cause illusions, because she got paid very well. Possibly how she got that job position that she has. And she thought she was the strap of the town. She thought she was getting one over an earth angel. She thought she was the queen of manipulation. That I didn't know what was going on. You all had your own motives. This is a rude awakening for you all because you didn't think I knew. You expected to de defeat me. You expected to defeat me. You tried to have me put out in the streets with my kids. You are cold. You are cold-blooded. Dang it. All because of your ego. You've been able to defeat other people in the past, but because you couldn't defeat me, 
you took it personal. And you're a textbook narcissist. If you don't fulfill your malicious mission or intentions with someone and they get away from you, you go after them. You make it your mission to go after them. I've been trying really hard not to put this message out. You saw that I left. I cut off communications with everyone to move on with my life, find peace and healing, but you just don't know how to let go. You're like a pest. Everywhere I go, you want to be there so you can let me know that I don't have peace. I'm always under surveillance. You don't own me. You don't even own yourself. You don't belong to yourself. How can you own someone else? I am a free will child. I am a free will being and I will always be that. Okay? So let's go ahead and get into this reading. All of this effort you all have been putting in is over. You are going through a humbling experience. I don't have a soft spot for anyone at that company. Not one person. I don't know why that's been coming up in my head. I've mentioned something like that before in one of my readings in regards to another, uh, uh, just a general reading, and it keeps coming up. I do not have a soft spot for anyone at your company. So whoever is bringing me my letter, whatever information, I do not have a soft spot for any of you because I saw you all. I observed you all with my own eyes. Take action. Every day that I went to work, come for me. Set up scenarios to make me look like a liar, to make me look like I was lazy. I didn't care about my job. I was incompetent. You all went above and beyond. Work over time. People playing in payroll to make it look like I didn't know what I was doing. Weakness. Wickedness. I'm speaking the truth. You people are upset that I stood my ground, took charge of my life. There is a king of swords here going through some type of ending. This person may be healing from something, recovering. This is someone into some type of practice. He is going through a rude awakening. He needs healing. And he can't get it from anywhere. He's unable to recover. So he, this is the one that wants to come in and cause the illusion. This is the one that wants to come in and cause the illusion that he's passionate about. Sir, you don't like me. I don't like you. Go on. When were you supposed to come in and cause me the illusion? I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I don't have any passion for you. I know you to your core. I'm not interested. This reading is absolutely necessary because I've been staying quiet and you all took my silence for something else. You may stick in it for something else. And I know you're watching me. You are watching me. I don't have any passion for you. Whatever passion you have for me or you think you have for me, let it go. Absolutely let it go. I am in control of my own path, my destiny. Not a soul on earth has control over me. The divine is the only being that has control over me. That is the only being that can tell me, hey, turn that way and I turn that way. Besides that, honey, my path is mine. My body is mine. My vessel is mine. Nobody's. Some of you in here are into dark magic. You go to practitioners. You leave work in the middle of the day to go pay for a reading. You all meet up to discuss your malicious plan on how to move forward. If one thing does not work, 
you come up with another plan so you can cause more mayhem, more chaos. I'm not interested in your olive branch, uh, branch of friendship you are offering. Pay me my compensation, my loss, so I can move on with my life. You people are wicked, cold, malicious. You were being tested and you failed miserably. One, oh, TB itself, she should tell you that I knew what was going on because I sent her a message one day and I told her, but I said it in a metaphor. So I'm hoping she shared that with you all. But I doubt you, the occultist, gave a crap because you felt and you feel invincible. You're untouchable, so you say. But you're learning because the fact that I feel the need today to put exposure on this means that you're going through karma. You're going through a fall. You're falling from grace or this is what you are afraid of. You want to hide your deeds. What, what you've done in the dark. You want to hide that. You don't want your reputation being tinted. Because that's all that matters to you. Your reputation. That is all that matters to you. You don't care about people. You're shallow as can be. Vain as can be. You're upset because someone took charge of their life. They're in control of the mess that you created. There's an emperor in here. Whoever you are, please do not come towards me. I'm not interested. I am not interested in any of you. Compensation. Vain, malicious, cruel, insecure. You felt intimidated by someone that did nothing to you. I'm telling you, a cultist, you are an occultist. That keeps coming up about you. When, you're, when you come in my energy, whether it's in technology, however, every time you come into my energy, this word comes up. You are an occultist and people do not know what you've been doing behind the scenes. They are just at the tip of the iceberg, but everything else under there, they don't know what's going on. But they've been participating and it can be tracked back to them. Every person you give money to, you have a record of it. You walk around and act like you don't know what's going on, like you're this genuine and compassionate person. You pour into people and things like that. You, you're cold. You are cold. You are cold as can be. You don't want to you don't want to go through karma so you want to fix fix this I'm just your your energy is always so exhausting because it's so negative it is so negative I don't know how you're able to live like this every day pretending to be something you're not your energy is so draining every time you come into my space whether that's through my phone, whether through computer, even when I work with you, your energy is draining. And people that he he ha ha with you are in the dark. That's why they don't feel it because they're just about the same as you. They're living in the dark, so they don't know. You came for me because I saw you for who you are. I knew the absolute truth about you. 
and you lost your mind. And then to top it off, you're a narcissist. So you made it your mission to destroy me. You will not. You will absolutely not. There's no accidents. I'm going to put it out. Everything in here says you all are planning something malicious and you've been guided and advised not to do it, but you've kept going. You're hoping that we can overcome this little, look at this, this little misunderstanding that we can go past that. You've been paying people behind the scenes. You're into black magic. You're dark. This is how you control people. You give them money and you control them. And then you tell them to do something they have to do with because they accept their money from you. I mean, that woman I shared their office with, you should have seen her walking around all proud, pretending to be something she's not. And I'm just watching her for months. I'm like, look at this one. She thinks I don't know what's going on. And you're wondering why I never said anything. If you remember, my kid needed surgery. Let's leave it at that. So we needed the insurance. All of you thought you had me fooled. All of you thought you were smarter than me but you're finding out. You all have been watching me on social media since I was using TikTok. You were watching me every day. You had people gang stalking me on social media. Even you, Mr. Occultist, you were following me, you were watching me. Were you going to practitioners to do me something, but I kept waking up every day? Every day. Don't worry, we're gonna get into it. We are going to get into it. You all wanted a reaction out of me. You're getting it now. The only thing is you thought I was gonna be on here being bitter, being angry, being aggressive, but I think each and every one of you know that's not my character, but you're so far gone into this lie that you are expecting that. And you, since you're getting something else other than what you expected, you're gonna say, oh, she's pretending. She's not being herself. Listen, you see this? This is me. Honey, this is me. There's a truth that has been illuminated to you. You're being told to fall back, leave me the heck alone, because something about me has been exposed to you. You are afraid, excuse me, you are afraid of losing everything. You've lost quite a lot, is what I'm hearing. You've lost something that was very important to you. And you are afraid of losing more. You had a false victory. This is you going down. This is you going down. This is you going down. It was a false victory. You thought you had defeated me. You were guided to go within and do the right thing. Take a different path. You're not dumb. You're just cold. Calculative. Because you're showing up here in the King of Swords energy and the Hermit, which means that you are extremely wise. You know exactly what you're doing. With all of this knowledge, you're wicked. And when people see you, they see the representative. They get the representative. And all of these people that have been working with you, you have something on them. You have something on them. 
you're able to to tell who you pay money to who you say what to what each person did on what date you blackmailed these people and they didn't realize they were being blackmailed this is what happened when you can be bought ladies and gentlemen i've dealt with interesting people in life i'm gonna tell you why you could not defeat me i've one of one first of all i've dealt with worse monsters than you because that's what you are at the end of the day is a monster Someone that makes it their personal personal mission in life to destroy another person simply because of ego. You're a monster. You didn't care how your actions affected me or my family and you knew I had children. You didn't care. You wanted to have that moment where you could say you destroyed an earth angel. I've destroyed you. That's why this heart, this broken heart, is coming before you. I've destroyed you with my voice, my message. And this is my victory, but your karma. You are getting what you deserve. You are afraid of getting what you deserve. You couldn't destroy me because I've dealt with bigger monsters than you. If you know a little bit of you know a little bit about me, you've invaded my privacy, you've talked to my familiars, and they told you one or two things about me, my childhood. You went digging really deep. You ran a background check and everything, or had one ran on me. Exactus. You had me looked into thoroughly but you couldn't find a thing you were never going to second why you couldn't defeat me this is me dear 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 all of these I represent those in the upright. That does not mean that I don't have a dark side. The difference between you and I, you're all dark. You have a little bit of light in you, but the darkness has consumed you. I have a balance of light and dark, but I tend to reside in my light. I choose to reside in my light. If I make a call in your life, you're done. You are done. Leave me alone, sir. And you know I know who you are, your name and everything. Leave me alone. The people that have been working with you know who I'm talking about. You're watching me and some of them are watching me as well. Leave me alone, sir. Exactly, I'm telling you, honey, this is all me. You don't like the fact that I am wise. You thought you were wiser than me, but you effed around and found out. You don't like the fact that I'm this energy. You don't want me reaping the harvest of my labor. You've been trying to block me in many ways, block my income. You told people I was not sincere. Obviously I am, I'm a queen of cups. You owe me. When people, when you do something to someone and they stay quiet, they don't respond. That does not mean that they don't know. This is my future. You see that? It does not mean that they don't know. It means they're choosing to do to be the bigger person and walk away. I walked away, and instead of you seeing that as you could have even decided when I left. You could have said, oh, I defeated her. I won. It would have been done at that. Nothing would have happened. I was never going to call, send a message, do anything. I moved on with my life. I said, I've left that company behind me. 
I work for a different company now. I can move on with my life. Whatever they stole from me, that's their business. But you said, uh-uh, that's not enough. I want her on, out of here. I want her poor, begging for money on her knees. I want her on drugs. I want her on this. I want her on that. I want her to be done. Finito. And so you made it your mission to invade my life. You went through my familiar and he gave you access to my life. You bribed him. You absolutely bribed him. And he accepted it. And he went on. He thought he had done the right thing. He has what's coming for him. So are the so the so do the other ones, the other familiars, family members, long-term friends that accept that bribery from you. They have what's coming to them. You thought you had the right one. You you're right, you had the right wrong one, sir. The right wrong one. You've done this many times before. I'm not the first woman you've done this to. You've done this before. You're very experienced in it. You were calculated, calculating. Everything was planned meticulously. But at the same time, you are impulsive as well. Impulsive. You take on these different energies. You don't even know who you are. You take on these different energies, depending on who's around you. You're thick as heck. So are the people that partner up with you. Most of them don't like you. You all don't even like each other. But you had one agenda, and that was to take someone down that did nothing to you all. You're defeated. As we walked a long road before you met me, dear. If I was bitter, I would be here calling you all types of bees and efforts and mother efforts. I don't, I don't, I don't operate that way. What I'm going to do is speak to you in a respectful way, a tactful way, but you're going to get my message. You're going to hear what I have to say, whether you care to or not. You have an obsession with me, so I know you're going to watch this. Hi, how are you? Long time no see. But you've been seeing me. I just haven't been seeing you physically. Spiritually, I see you. Hi. You need help. You need to go to a therapist. You need to go to a therapist. You have a problem. You've been hiding for a long time. You think you're invincible, but you're not. As you can see, you're not invincible. Your tower is falling down. London Bridge is falling down. You and your partners in crimes, King of Swords, this Emperor, whoever this Knight of Wands is, you worked with a lot of different energies. You spent a lot of money paying these people to come for me. And you thought the more people that came after me, the easier it would be for me to give up and accept defeat. Don't you know I went through 12 years of civil war and I survived that? And you think you paying a bunch of strangers I don't have any connections with is going to make me do what? The familiar that I was with that you pay I was emotionally disconnected by the time you went to him, so I didn't care what he did. The other familiars that you pay, I had no connections with them on an emotional level by the time you got to them. Those bonds were already, uh, those bonds were already bro broken. That does not mean I don't care for them. But them turning on me didn't make me skip a heartbeat. I didn't lose any Z's over it. I didn't miss a sheep. All my sheeps were accounted for. You picked a fight with the wrong one. 
You thought because I was a queen of cups, because I was alone, I was an easy pick. You could destroy me. You could turn me from this into that. That's not me. It's not that I'm not capable of being this. I choose not to. Because if I choose to reside in this energy, you're in danger. Leave me alone, sir. Compensation. Compensation. I'm telling you, I'm a warrior. I am a warrior. I will stand my ground. I don't care how many people are going up against me. I will absolutely stand my ground and make sure that I get what is mine. Fulfillment. Reap my harvest. So all of these tactics you guys have been doing is, is educational purposes for me. Those are what those things serve. They're for educational purposes. Thank you for the lessons. Thank you for the free education. You didn't stop a show for no one. I will keep moving forward in life. When you all see me at the peak of my life, I will be a billionaire. You will need me for help, but you will not be able to receive help from me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad this car came out. My tenacity is unmatched. You don't understand how I keep moving forward. I should be down by now. I should be destroyed. This is the energy you wanted me in, to be in fear. Anxiety, confusion, uncertainty. This is what you are in now. You you pay for something to be done to me. You're waiting for the news. The news is not coming, sir. It's not coming. You're expecting to hear some type of bad news that something happened to me and my children. It's not coming. You effed up really bad. Compensation. Compensation. <laughs> you effed up royally. Most of these people, I'm going to say a majority of them do not know who they are spiritually or even physically. But you know 100% I know who I am. Uh, some of my lifetimes, what I've been, who I am on a spiritual level, and you are intimidated by that, you went and got a reading on me to find out who I really am. Am I really an earth angel? And you were told yes. And now you are in fear of what's going to happen. Am I going to lose everything? And what did they tell you, sir? You feel invincible. You think because you have money, then you are invincible. You're untouchable. You're not untouchable. I, this is not a joke anymore, is it? You were laughing in the beginning. You were laughing in the beginning. You were having the time of your life. Playing mental games, causing illusions, controlling people, telling them to go do this to this person, go do that to this person, go do this to this person. It's not a joke anymore. You're not laughing anymore. Dang. Is what I just heard. It's not a joke anymore. You're out of moves. You are experiencing some type of financial instability because you've paid so much money to people. How dumb do you have to be 
to go into your bank account to take money out of there to pay people to go bully someone how in the world does that make sense how how does it make sense to take money and go pay people to to bribe people to bully someone and then the people that accepted the bribery and these are people in their 50s 60s 40s accepting bribery to lie to cause illusions there's a feminine energy amongst you or was amongst you that refused your bribery she said she absolutely refused to lie on someone and you know who i'm talking about but it's not a joke anymore right because now you are losing the universe has hit you where it hurts It hit you where it hurts. Things are being looked into. You're being asked questions and things like that. You don't even know where to start with answering these questions. You think people don't know what you did. You're trying to hide your hand. You cannot. You're exposed, sir. Whatever plan you're coming up with, let it go. If it has nothing to do with compensating me for my loss, let it go because it's just going to make things worse for you. You are not going to defeat me. How do you keep coming after someone that's not doing anything to you? How do you keep coming after someone that's not doing anything to you? You all are planning something. Maybe you're working together now. You're taking things serious. So you're maybe trying to fix things now. You... Mm. Is that the things that have been revealed to me about you? If I was someone malicious, wicked cold and coming like you, I could really end you with those things. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to scoop to your level. So you all are planning to fix things. To bring an end to this chapter, someone is coming towards me. And as I said, I don't have a soft spot for anyone. I don't have a soft spot for anyone. Not the woman. I could get her initials. But I'm going to leave it at that. I don't have a soft spot for her. I don't have a soft spot for a masculine. I don't have a soft spot for any of you. Because I see all of you for who you are. Yeah, compensation, sir. That's all I'm going to keep saying with these pentacles is compensation. You cost me a huge loss. And even though you did that, knowing very well each and every day what state of living my children and I were in, you didn't care. But the minute you found out that I had evidence, this is when you started caring, being worried. Now you want to tell people, hey, let's do this for Cynthia. So you can look like the hero in the, in the movies. This is not a movie. This is real life. This is real life. You may not have analyzed me. You didn't break me. But you, you affected my finances. Compensation, sir. Exactly. You know I know you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Absolutely, I see you. 
my brother i did see you i did see you well well i don't need my eyes to be open to see you i was born with my spiritual eyes wide open and the familiars that you partner up with they can tell you that maybe they forgot to mention that to you It's been open my whole life. What I've had a struggle with is showing compassion to the wrong people. Excuse me, let me turn my light on, folks. Compensation again. What I've had a problem with is showing compassion to the wrong folks because I had to learn life on my own. And so because I had to learn life on my own, I understand, the, understand and understood the difficulties that I had to go through. So I never wanted to put people through those same experiences. So I always went out of my way to be kind to people, even though I knew what they were doing the disadvantages they were putting me through, the betrayal, I still chose to be kind. Not because I was stupid, you thought I was idiotic. I think you called me retarded or dumb. You told people I was naive, I didn't know what I was doing, things just kind of happened out of luck for me. It's not, there's nothing lucky. <laughs> it's not luck, dear, it's not luck. You told people I was dishonest, I was a liar, I don't know what I'm talking about. And the people that you collaborated with, they can collaborate, they can corroborate what I'm saying. You said those things about me. That I was difficult to work with. We can just say she's this, we can just say she's that. And they knew they were lying with you, but the money was good. You all feel powerful and invincible because you were in number. People feel invincible because they had a connection to you. You have money. So, oh, he has money. We're going to side with him. He gives me money. Because money talk BS walk until you find out there's something called karma. I know you. You found the truth out about me. And you know what's coming for you. So you're planning to fix things. You can gas light. You can gas light your partners in crimes, but you will not gas like me. I see you for exactly who you are. You're trying to protect your image because that's what narcissists do. I'm telling you, narcissist. You are a narcissist. I've illuminated the truth about you, the decisions you made to steal, to lie, to undercut, to do trickery, to betray. You've betrayed a lot of the people that you're working with and they don't even know. You lie and stuff. When you are with them, you smile in their faces. But then when they leave, your mouth is loose. You're telling lies on them. And then they think they're in some type of loyal connection with you, whether it's friendship or platonic. You're two-faced. You came for the wrong one, sir. The truth. You did something to interfere with my work. I was supposed to receive a promotion and you interfered with that promotion, which led to me having to walk away because a group of grown-ups decided to gang up on one person. You interfered with a promotion I was supposed to receive in the past. You all decided I was incompetent it was i didn't fit i wasn't the right fit for that position and you thought i didn't know 
You interfere with my work, my forward movement, my stability. But I hope you know you did not interfere with my loving heart, my character, my genuine. You didn't do nothing with that, sir. You will never take that away from me. Because if I can go through everything I've gone through and still come out wholesome, you best believe there is nothing you can do to destroy me. And that is why you will never be able to defeat me. I will always defeat my enemies. And that is how it's set up for me. I don't care who you are. I will always defeat you. No matter how long it takes, I will defeat you. So, sir, compensation, 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 compensation. You owe me. You Oh, me. You are working with a queen of swords. I know who that is. She knows. I could tell her the role she played in this with you. She was playing double agent. She was playing double agent. So maybe this is who you are going to send towards me. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And you can't even, out of everything you all did, none of you can sit down and tell one thing that I did to you. That was wrong. I didn't do one thing to you, to any of you. Never cursed you out. Never stole from you, took from you. Nothing. You cannot name a thing that I did to you. Anything you can name is coming from, oh, she said you did this. Oh, he said you did that. But you cannot speak directly to me and said that you, Cynthia, you did this to me. You cannot. It will be a lie. And then if you want me to get petty, I can start talking about how you, some of you are stealing from the very company you're working for. Checks, petty cash, remember? We can talk about that. You're not recovering. Whatever plans you are, are coming up with, if it is a malicious one, it will not be successful. I have called justice on that way ahead of time. Any malicious plans you all have for me is not going to be successful. It's not going to happen. It is being returned to you 10 times full. Someone here is not recovering. Someone is into some type of voodoo, he do, she do. Someone is sick. They are not recovering. Someone is tired of having to come up against me. They're worn out. They're wondering how I keep going forward with everything they're doing. You all have been taking turns, sometimes working at the same time to destroy me and you're exhausted. It's the last karmic standing versus the star seed. And I'm definitely 100% sure the universe is on my side because I didn't do anything to you. Someone is tired someone is tired they need healing 
someone could have an entity attached to them. I don't know if you all think that I'm going to come in to save someone. I, honey, let me leave that right there. Someone is tired. Someone has some type of illness they're dealing with. I don't know who this one is. I don't, I'm not looking into it. Someone is advocating behind the scenes now. It's just, it's tiresome. You all, your energies, they're tiring. Disingenuine. How do you sit in the office with someone every day and smile with them, but you are sneaking them and you feel proud about it? Proud. You're unable to recover, so someone is taking actions to come in to give me some compensation. I'm speaking that because that's what I see. I am the queen of pentacles. You told people I was a horrible mother because you got that from my familiar who lied on me. I absolutely adore my children. He lied. He told you, I don't take care of my children. I neglect them. I leave them unattended. I don't feed them. I don't change my baby. I can tell you word for word what this man was telling people. I wasn't there, but I was born with my eyes open, ears open, heart open. I can tell you word for word what he was saying. You and him have phone calls. And he told you she don't pay the bills. She don't cook, she don't clean, she's lazy, all she does is sleep. Was I there? Ask him if I was there when he had that conversation. I wasn't there. So how do I know? How do I know, dear? This is me. And it bothers you that this is me. You thought you were going to find something outrageous or outlandish about me. And you were going to use that to blackmail me. Control me. Oh, if you don't behave yourself, if you don't do this, I'm going to show this to people. There is nothing in my life that I am embarrassed of. That's what you feel to realize. There is absolutely nothing in my life that I am embarrassed of. I don't have PTSD. I took the time to heal from my experience as a child. There is nothing you can hold against me. Okay? So you, anything you're telling people is a lie. Whether I'm on heal, I'm an unfit mother, I'm not nurturing, I'm lazy, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm reckless, I'm careless, I don't plan things. I'm disorganized. It's all a lie. And you know it. They know it. They saw me work. My work was never bad until they started interfering with it. So, two and two are not adding up. The math is not mathing. What you're realizing is that you have a huge lawsuit on your hand. I absolutely recorded that woman when she came to my door. You sent her. You saw that I was calm, living in peace, even though you were doing everything behind the scenes to cause me ending. And you said, I want you to go and do this. You gave her money, you paid her money. And she was dumb enough to be bought. She's, I guess, never seen that amount of money before. So she came banging on my door. She didn't bang. She knocked on the door. I said, I didn't answer the first time. I was waiting for her to go away because nobody knows where my kids and I stay besides one of my familiar that gave you my address. They're the only one that know where I live. 
She knocked the second time and I said, who is it? She introduced herself. She told me why she was there. And I said, well, that's not something to come to my door for. And she goes ballistic. It's recorded. And I guarantee you when we go to court, she's going to testify against you. You think she wants to go to jail or have to face retribution by the company she works for? Losing her job and stuff like that? It is absolutely recorded. People will know what you did behind the scenes, how wicked you are, how cruel you are. And that fake persona that you have is going to be ripped away from you. You know exactly where I live. You know exactly where I, where I live. I told you. Wish fulfillment. And then I keep hearing something about you being upset about my gifts. Sir, I can't help you with that. There's someone in your camp that a few of you are obsessed. That I have gifts. Someone said it's better to work with this person than to be their enemy. There are people in your this company you work for that throw magic at people. And one of them, he knows that I know. LB, he knows that I know what he was doing. AW, he did the same thing, except he went to a practitioner to do it. I know when you pick a fight with someone and they stay quiet and they move away from you, you should be terrified and know that it's time to put down the sores. But you're so stubborn. You're so much of a narcissist. Your ego is so big. You still want to keep going. You still want to keep going. This is my new beginning. You thought I was blind. I didn't know where the attacks were coming from, who were behind them, who was behind them, who all were behind them. I always knew. My landlord is not the first person you sent to my door, correct? You sent other people and I let it go. And then you went all out. Right? What I'm doing is illuminating, illuminating the truth about your trickery, the confusion you've been causing. You've been throwing rocks and hiding your hand, doing things from behind the scenes so it does not look like you're involved. This has been your emo your whole life. This is how you move. This is how you move. I'm telling you, you're worried. <laughs> you are worried, dear, about your job, losing your job. You've been causing a lot of mental conflict. You're used to living in this energy, but it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. And it could have all been prevented. All prevented. If you would have just left, I'm telling you, you were causing illusions. If you would have just left the silly old earth angel alone, the it came back on the bottom, you were causing illusions. If you would have just left 
the silly old earth angel alone to go on about her delusional way of living, talking about being in connection with source, thinking she has abilities and this and that. She's so dumb. She's clueless. She's an easy pig. It's easy to do this with her. You're going to get blessings from Stephanie, her energy. What? But I'm the dumb one. You're, pay you're taking money out of your bank account to go have people saffing my energy. But I'm the dumb one. And they were actually dumb enough to go along with it too. You should have seen the one in my office, folks. Oh, Lord. Sister thought she was on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. I'm more malicious and conniving than anyone else. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> Good news. You are worried, sir. Things are not looking in your favor. As for me, I'm sealing on to karma waters. You see how my read started? I'm sealing on to karma waters. What you did was foul. Every last one of you. And again, I don't have a soft spot in my heart for anyone that keeps coming up. I don't give a hoot. I don't have a soft spot in my heart for anyone over there. There's something about a union in here. You all were trying to block a union as well. KG, you're involved in that. I hear about stuff you do in your personal life. I'm not going to put it on here. That's your business. But just know that I know what you do outside of work and in the company. JT, you and your fake friendship, I'm aware of what you did too. Actually, before I left, I was going to write you a note and tell you I know. But I said, let me leave it. She's going to learn. Every last one of you, I knew what you were doing. I knew what you were doing the whole time. What I want to know is how much money did you pay to trap me into something, in some type of unhealthy mindset where I'm always feeling defensive, feeling unsafe, uncertain, not knowing who I can trust. That's what you wanted me to feel, right? You know I'm not lying. You wanted me to feel unsafe that I couldn't trust anyone because you know you can't trust anyone because no one can trust you. You're a double agent. You are a double agent. Even the people that you brought with you to that company cannot trust you. You're a double agent. You were trying to have me feel defensive about love, feeling happy in life. You didn't want me receiving an opportunity in love or even in business career opportunities. You wanted to block my forward movement. You thought you were God. Only for you to find out I'm more closer to God than you are. I have a direct connection to source. And I'm still into karma waters. I am going to heal. I am healed. I'm doing the work to heal from all of this nonsense you all were doing. I'm not bitter. What's the point of being bitter about something like this? I have growth coming my way. My life, my work, my life purpose, everything is going to accelerate. You see my ace of pentacles? That is in short. I'm speaking to God on it's true. You have a queen of swords in here that now wants to do the right thing. She was working with you. She's a double agent. But you absolutely know I have my swords pulled out. I'm a queen of cups with a sword. So I can be loving or I can be a B-I-T-C-H if you want me to be.
you see me, I've worked hard to get to where I am in life. You told people, some of you told people that I did funny things to get to where I was. No, I didn't. I've never been someone that lives on my back for opportunities, get on my knees for opportunities, never. Someone told someone that I was pregnant. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And I can tell you who told that lie. I didn't have to be there to know who told the lie. I work to get to where I am. My victory is in sure I am absolutely logical, honey. You told people I was crazy. I was cray cray, but I defeated all of you. Now you have to take me serious. Because you know I am in control of my destiny. The universe F's with me. You're going through a rude awakening, a humbling experience. You've lost a lot of finances because you invested in the wrong thing. This was an investment. You have to see it that way. You were invested in taking down one of God's favorite. And the whole time you were doing it, they were telling me to keep a positive mindset. And I said, why the heck do I have to keep a positive mindset? I'm tired of this ninja. I am tired of him and his minions. And the universe said, please keep a positive mindset and stay put. We are taking care of it. You did so much. I thought I was this. I was going to be this. I came damn near close to it. You are receiving karma for what you did with these people. You were the head of this collaboration. You are, you are exhausted. I've worn you out. You thought you were going to wear me out. I've worn you out with my tenacity. Hey, look at that. I'm using the word that A.W. used to describe me. He told me I had tenacity. Look at that. It's coming into use today. My tenacity has worn you out. If I can lose... 60% of my family in a civil war and still move forward in life alone. What makes you think that paying strangers to come up against me is going to discourage me from moving forward? Don't you know I went through the exact same thing in Liberia where I was an outcast? I grew up alone. And then I come to the U.S. I'm trying to get my life together. I get, I pray to the Most High to get me a job where I don't have to work as a CNA because I don't like working as a CNA. It's not part of my calling. It's not something I was ever meant to do. And that's not to speak ill of that position. It's just not for me. <clears throat> you come about... You have a problem with this black girl that's confident. You have a problem with this black girl that has a voice, but she's polite about it. You want me to be ghetto. You want me to be unsophisticated. You want me to be classless. So you made it your mission to destroy me, only for you to destroy yourself. You are being advised to go within you were working with a king of swords. This is your friend. He thinks he can come in and give me some type of false love opportunity, whatever this is. I don't want it from you, sir. I want compensation. Now he's advocating, taking actions to come in. This is someone impulsive or king of, king of swords. But maybe this is the energy he has to be in because things need to be made right. You interfere with my finances. You interfere with my independence. You try to break me, but I am not broken. I am no one's victim. I'm the emperor in my life. I'm the high priestess in my life. I am the empress in my life. 
until I am partnered up with my divine counterpart, I will remain the emperor in my life. I will make the moves when the moves are meant to be made, how, so on and so forth. No one is going to control me. Okay? You feel invincible. That's all I keep hearing. You feel invincible. You are worried about me receiving news because you could lose your job. You could end up losing your job. But whose fault is it? Hopefully for once in your life, you'll do the right thing. And you know what it is. I'm not your friend. When you and I meet, I'm not your friend. I'm none of you's friends. I'm not friends with any of you. I don't have a soft spot for any of you. Because I see you for what you are. You and I are not friends. Please, so please do not tell anyone that you and I are friends when we all get over this little hump. We are not friends. We are not acquaintances. It is strictly business. Have a good day.